This video is to show you the waveform display, which is a tool in the Lightorama sequence editor that can really help you out with uh, making your musical sequences. And so let's start up a new musical sequence. Click on the new button, new musical sequence, OK. Select the song we want to use. This is the song that will be played when the sequence plays. Here's the new musical sequence options dialog. Uh, let's take mostly the defaults, but let's say don't add any timings for now. And click, let's save that as default. Let's click on OK. And that opens up a new sequence. Now if we play the sequence, we can hear the song. The waveform display is a tool that will allow you to also see the song in addition to hearing it, more or less. So let's click on this waveform button. That opens up this new area of the grid, which is the waveform display. And this is essentially a visual representation of what the song is doing at any given point in time. So to see what that means, let's play it again. And as it's playing, there will be a bar that will march along as the sequence plays. And watch where it's at in the song when it hits these various big bumps. And then ho hopefully you'll see that there's this really is a representation of what the song is doing at any given point in time. So let's try that out. So hopefully that shows you the idea. Now, one way that the waveform display would be useful is we can use it to add timings. If you have a freeform timing grid, you can add timings anywhere you want in it. So for example, I can go to the beginning of this big bump here and select insert timing. I can do one here as well. And here. And so forth. And so you can get your timings down uh, with the song in that manner. Now this one you'll notice I did it a little bit off. And the reason I did it a little bit off was to show you another little thing, which is you can drag a timing if you're in a freeform timing grid. So it's a little off, and I drag it to where the waveform uh, display shows me it should probably be. And now these timings are basically in time with my sequence. Now you can uh, um, do a couple of things with the waveform display to make it display differently. You can scale it up or down. or scale it in or out. And when you do the in or out thing, it'll scale out, scale in or out the entire sequence, not just the uh, waveform display. So let me show you what that means. Everything is getting, uh, I guess, further and further apart. And you can get very detailed if you wanted to. So for example, this whole area here, between here and here, is only about a fifth of a second long. And so I could even, you know, get, if I wanted to, I could get very exact about where the timings are. Now you can also do other things with the waveform display, but let me show you a little trick first. Uh, if I close this sequence, and then I either open up a new mus open up a musical sequence, or I start up a musical sequence. Let's start up one. then you'll notice that there is no waveform display. So I have to click on that button again. And that's fine if that's the way that you want it. But a lot of people really like the waveform display, so they want to always see it, and they don't want to worry about hitting this button every time that they want to see it. So if that's the case, you can go to the Edit menu, then Preferences, Display Preferences. And one of the options here is View Waveform by Default. If you click that and click OK, then now, whenever you open up a musical sequence or create a musical sequence, and Lightorama can display a waveform for it, it will display the waveform for, for it by default. So let's try that out again. The waveform is displayed, and I didn't have to hit this button. And that's the way it'll always be as long as you have that set in your uh, preferences.
I can turn it off again if I wanted to and on again if I wanted to, but it'll always start up on. Now, you can also um, do a couple other things with the display of the waveform. For example, if you go to the view menu, view waveform, you can set it to half height if you wanted to, just to take up less real estate on the screen. Um, I like mine at full height, so let's go back to that. Uh, you could right-click on it. That'll bring up a few options of how the information is displayed. Full mode is the default. That's the one I like the most, but you might also want to try fold mode or top mode. And this is basically displaying the same information, but just in a different way. So if you like one more than the other, you might want to use that one. And finally, uh, some people have said that this blue on the white background uh, doesn't work well for them. So we have the ability to change the colors if you want. So for example, you could change the foreground to green and the background to pink. And if you like that more than blue on white, then there you go. So I guess that's about it for the waveform display. It really can be very helpful for uh, uh, doing fine detailed work on your musical sequences. So uh, I hope this helps. Thank you.